Hey, what is happening everyone? Welcome back to another video and today we have the Honda V80 tablet. This is the 2018 Android 7.0 edition. At first glance, you may see this tablet and be like, oh, this is a pretty good cheap tablet. It has some pretty good specs. It's got a 1080p IPS panel. That's actually a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, 16 gigabytes of built-in storage, a pretty decent GPU, two gigabytes of RAM, and all the bells and whistles that a usual cheap tablet has. And you're like, okay, $88, it shouldn't be that bad and it looks pretty good overall. Well, let me show you what we have inside. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box first. So I've already unboxed it, I've already tested it, and that's what you get inside. You get a manual, some instructions, and all you get is a charging cable and another manual that's in Chinese. And here is the tablet itself. So overall, not gonna lie, it looks like a pretty good tablet. It's pretty decent. It's got a really nice grippy texture on the bottom here, a pretty good looking camera notch, an SD card slot, and a pre-installed screen protector that isn't too badly installed. So when you first get it, you're supposed to unpeel this part right here, and there you go. The protector here is installed pretty well for the most part, except for over here and right over here. Just a couple of air bubbles. Now if you go ahead and turn it on, the first thing you'll see is of what looks like a very old looking Android intro screen. Um, and you probably remember this, it's laggy and it has this very specific color, and it kind of reminds me of Android Gingerbread or Android 2.3 and 2.2 Froyo. So it takes a while to boot up, and the first thing you'll see is like a pretty good looking screen. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty set up, but as soon as you try to unlock it, you realize what you have got yourself into. So, yeah, the interface and pretty much this whole tablet is pretty badly optimized, because a tablet like this, with these type of specs, shouldn't be this laggy. What's wrong here is it seems like Onda has actually rushed this tablet out. And that's because this tablet originally was released as an Android 4.4, if I remember correctly, or a 5.1. I'm not too sure. Either one of those, it was originally released about a year ago. And if you look at YouTube right now, there are a ton of reviews for this thing that are pretty positive. But this is Android 7.0, it's been released in 2018, and it's pretty terrible because it is badly optimized. And I really don't even think they have installed the proper drivers for any of this stuff. So if you go ahead and try to do some web browsing, you can see everything opens up super slow. The whole interface, doesn't matter where you are, it's gonna lag. And if you go ahead and try to browse Reddit, you can see how slow it is. So it's... Uh, Pretty, pretty bad. And overall, the brightness levels on this thing, so chronic, it's pretty decent, and it takes a while to get set up. So the page finally loaded. Let's go ahead and continue on and see if we could do anything here. And uh, you can just see how sluggish the tablet is. I don't have to go further for you guys to understand how bad this thing is. It's pretty bad. It's terrible. For the same price, you can probably get a five-year-old tablet that it is not even running Android 5 and it would probably run better than this thing because this thing doesn't have the right drivers. And again, I think all they have done here is install 7.0 and just push that out to the public because it looks like a custom ROM that someone compiled and just shared with everyone just for fun. But there are about two things that you can really do with this thing. One of them is actually play Doodle Jump, which is surprisingly runs pretty well, but you can see it was running at 60 FPS. So you can see it is running and it runs pretty smoothly, like it should be. But as soon as you go to the UI itself, it's running like, at what, 24 FPS or something, cinematic? You get the idea. And the other thing I have tested with this thing was video playback and screen on time. So I ran a video at 1080p, full brightness, full battery life, until the battery ran out on loop, and I've got about three hours and 10 minutes of screen on time. So again, that's full brightness, 1080p video playback with VLC. So battery life is three hours and 10 minutes and charging time is actually two and a half hours to three hours of charging time. It takes a while to charge this and that is to be expected. But uh, there's no point of going further in this review. It's a pretty terrible tablet. This is just a video to let you guys know on what you should watch out for. So, so at the current state of this tablet, I completely do not recommend getting it whatsoever. It is simply an unfinished product. Now that may change in the future where they might actually update the software but nobody will know until someone gets their hands on it and checks it out at that point. I may have gone on Lemon, I'm not too sure. I've had a tablet from six years ago and it ran much better than this and I paid $50 for it. It was running Android 2.3 or 2.2 and it ran better than this thing. And uh, this tablet did run pretty well when they had the original software, which was Lollipop or KitKat. Um, that is actually pretty much it for this video. I'm actually using a different mic if you guys have noticed. So I thought I would use this video to test it out and pretty much get your guys' opinion of it. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. If you're looking for a decently cheap tablet that performs pretty well, I have a couple more tablets that I'm reviewing, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, that is all for this video. Talk to you guys later, and take care, everyone.